Hey guys, good morning. Uh, I had a few minutes um, just getting my day started. It's a uh, nice rainy uh, day. And um, I was praying and asking just for a message. And I stumbled on something that uh, most of you have read multiple times, but uh, it, it, it lays out a foundation that when the way that Jesus is speaking about coming to the Father and repentance for certain cities. And uh, I'm in, um, it's the book of St. Matthew, chapter 11. I'm going to start at um, verse 20. All right, and follow me. This has to do with him doing works in certain cities, and they did not repent, yet there were more wicked cities than the ones he did works in, that if he had shown one work, the whole city would have been in sack, sackcloth and ashes. And it, it, it rings true to today. Then began he to upbraid the cities wherein most of his mighty works were done, because they repented not. Woe unto thee, Chirazim. Woe unto thee, Beth Lasida, Lasida. For if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Tyr and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I say unto you, I shall be more tolerable for Tyr and Sidon at the day of judgment than for you. And thou, Capernaum, which art exalted unto heaven shall be brought down to hell. For if the mighty works which have been done in thee had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I say unto you that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for thee. At that time Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and hast revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father save the Son. And he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. I will give you rest. Take, um, come unto me, all ye that are labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. That, that just seems so perfect for these days. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. And then chapter 12 goes into the law of the Sabbath. But I, I'm going to stop there because in these days, I've said it before, and I, I'm guilty of this. When I have something that is troubling me or I need direction, take it, take it straight to the Father. Take it straight to the Lord. He has a way out designed for everyone he has a way out and people are just looking in the wrong direction um i'll tell you the world is what an awesome time to be alive right i mean seriously because the world is changing so fast and i'll look around and think okay i know where i stand and I'm not moving that position. Because evil isn't just going to come out and say, hey. It's not going to have like a, a shirt that says, you know, I'm with Satan. It doesn't work like that. They're going to be very subtle, very um, slick-tongued. And it's so important that we understand that where, who we're with and what we stand for has a lot of power. It really does.
You know, I think back to when Jesus was saying, you cannot go where I'm going. How powerful is that when he told the Pharisees? He said, where I am going, you cannot follow. And I think about that. Because where he is, is where we all want to be. And we have not seen these mighty works. And yet, we have faith. And we're more blessed because of that faith. He is the only way. He is the only way. Because the world is just going to continue to pull the blinders over people's eyes. And the deception is going to be so heavy, it's going, to, it's going to seem almost impossible to not be true. But it will be a lie. And so you have to hang on to the Lord with everything you got. You got to put your sword in the ground. And, and draw a line and put your sword right on that line and say, I am not budging. I am not moving. Once you have that conviction, everything else just kind of falls into place. I know a lot of people are really uh, weary. Their faith has been shaken a lot lately. And that's okay. Because once you have seen and heard the truth through the Holy Spirit convicted from that in Jesus, you, you always get back up every time. It's those who don't get back up and turn back to him that never belong to him. So don't doubt that. Lamb's Book Life, I'm telling you. I'm telling you that... that that, that has so much more power in it than you can imagine. Love you guys. Bye.